Microsoft Fabric is a cloud-based platform that enables you to create end-to-end -end analytics solutions using various experiences, such as data engineering, data science, data warehouse, real-time analytics, and Power BI. To learn Microsoft Fabric fast, you can use the following tools. Microsoft Learn. This is a free online learning platform that offers training modules, learning paths, and end-to-end -end tutorials on Microsoft Fabric. You can learn the basics of Microsoft Fabric, how to use different experiences, and how to build real-world scenarios. Microsoft Fabric Documentation This is the official documentation for Microsoft Fabric, where you can find detailed information, guides, and references on every aspect of Microsoft Fabric. You can learn how to get started, how to use the Fabric UI, and how to integrate different experiences. Microsoft Fabric Blog this is the official blog for Microsoft Fabric, where you can find the latest news, announcements, and updates on Microsoft Fabric. You can also learn from the best practices, tips, and tricks shared by the Microsoft Fabric team and the community. Microsoft Fabric YouTube Channel This is the official YouTube channel for Microsoft Fabric, where you can watch videos and demos on Microsoft Fabric. You can also learn from the webinars, events, and interviews hosted by the Microsoft Fabric team and the experts. Microsoft Fabric Community This is the online community for Microsoft Fabric, where you can connect with other Microsoft Fabric users and enthusiasts. You can also ask questions, share feedback, and get support from the Microsoft Fabric team and the community. I hope this helps you find some useful tools to learn Microsoft Fabric fast. Some of the real-world scenarios that Microsoft Fabric can be used for are Lakehouse. This scenario shows how professional developers and analysts can collaborate on a single set of data stored in a lakehouse, which is a unified data store that combines the best of data lakes and data warehouses. You can ingest, transform, and load data from various sources, and then expose it through reports or SQL endpoints. You can also use the One Lake feature to access the same data across Lakehouse mode and SQL endpoint mode. Data Warehouse This scenario shows how SQL developers can use the Data Warehouse experience in Fabric to create and manage a data warehouse for structured and relational data. You can use familiar tools like SQL Server Management Studio to connect to your data warehouse and perform queries and operations. You can also use Power BI to create reports and dashboards using Direct Lake, which allows you to access your data warehouse data directly from the data lake. Data Science This scenario shows how data scientists can use the data science experience in Fabric to create and deploy machine learning models using various frameworks and languages. You can use Notebooks, Spark, and Azure Machine Learning to explore, prepare, and train your data and then use the Fabric Model Registry to manage and deploy your models. You can also use Power BI to visualize and monitor your model performance. Real-time analytics. This scenario shows how you can use the real-time analytics experience in Fabric to stream and process real-time events from various sources, such as IoT devices, web applications, or social media. You can use event streams to ingest and route events to different destinations, such as Azure Data Lake Storage, Azure Synapse Analytics, or Power BI. You can also use Stream Analytics to perform complex analytics and transformations on your streaming data. These are some of the real-world scenarios that Microsoft Fabric can be used for, but there are many more possibilities and use cases that you can explore with this powerful and flexible platform. I hope this helps. To get started with Microsoft Fabric, you can follow these steps. Sign up for a free 60-day trial of Microsoft Fabric. You will need an Azure account and a Power BI Premium license to use Microsoft Fabric. Choose an experience that suits your data and analytics needs. You can use Power BI, Data Factory, Synapse Data Engineering, Synapse Data Science, Synapse Data Warehouse, or Synapse Real-Time Analytics. You can also switch between different experiences within Microsoft Fabric. Create a workspace and invite other users to collaborate with you. You can also use the Fabric UI to navigate and manage your workspace and its resources. Ingest, transform, and analyze your data using the tools and services available in Microsoft Fabric. You can also use one lake to access the same data across different experiences and modes. Visualize and share your insights using Power BI reports and dashboards.
You can also use Direct Lake to access your data directly from the data lake. These are some of the basic steps to get started with Microsoft Fabric, but there are many more features and functionalities that you can explore with this powerful and flexible platform.